My beloved Francis, six years ago, I asked you to be my girlfriend. Now, six months ago, I asked you to marry me. And here we are before our friends and family, becoming one. This is the best day of my life. Here are the vows of my heart. I will promise to love you all of my days, no matter what troubles or perils may come our way. In sickness or in health, in having little or having wealth, I will love you. On those days you don't feel beautiful, I will remind you every second that you are my beautiful beloved. When you feel sad or worried, I will hold you and pray. You are now my helper, and I will be your pastor, protector, and provider. And for everything else that may come, just know that I will. I'm going to start with you, Franny. I've known her since we were toddlers due to our mothers being best girlfriends. <laughs> and of course, she was always the serious and responsible one. On the other hand, I was always the goofy one. Oh, yuck. <laughs> we were always together for family gatherings, holiday celebrations and we are both huge Disney fans. And when Franny met Josh, mm, I didn't think he was the one. And probably Franny thought the same. But look at them now. <laughs> you proved me wrong. <laughs> I'm very happy she found her soulmate, her pinguino. Franny, you have set a wonderful and godly example and I hope it would be an inspiration to others. I will always love you and be there when you have your future children. <laughs> and Josh, just a friendly reminder from your sister in Christ, continue to love God first, love your wife, and always be good to her. Continue to walk closely with the Lord. Be the godly husband that Franny deserves and she will be your godly wife. I have always been someone who has believed in true love. I think it has a lot to do with all the Disney movies I would watch. I would always hope and wish for that one day I would meet my true love. As I got older, I would go to youth group and once heard a sermon that said to pray for your future spouse and pray for the qualities you would hope for them to have. That day, I quickly came home and started on that prayer list. I prayed that my husband would one day be revealed to me and that he would be a true man of God who would put the Lord first in his life. A man who was funny, caring, loving, a Disney lover, and if possible, have blue eyes. So here I now stand with you, Josh, my best friend, my true love that I always hope to find, and the godly blue-eyed man I've been praying for since I was 15. You are truly an amazing man who seeks the Lord and encourages me to do the same. I vow to come alongside you and uplift you in the Lord, to love you even when I don't like you, and to be your forever Marvel movie buddy. I can't wait to live out the rest of my days with you by my side. I love you, Penguin, and can't wait to start this new chapter, Our Penguinos Ever After. And I guess for me, being a brother, it's not so much being protective, like, hey, that's my sister. It was more of, that was my best friend at that time. So for me, it was kind of hard to, I know I was going to lose her to a guy, which at the time I was like, ah. So I'll, for the most part, I'll stand offish towards Josh. Um, they do their own thing, and I'd be like, okay, whatever. And he'd be like, oh, hey, you want to come here? And I'm like, nah, I'm cool, you know. But over time, um, I went on a couple outings with them and did a couple things. I started to see um, how Josh was and who Josh was. 
Um, and slowly but surely started to wear down on me. Um, and then he was there for me when I went through a couple hardships of my own. And that was kind of like a test of character for me. It kind of showed me who he was that, you know, he wasn't just trying to be like, oh, hey, let me be your friend because I'm dating your sister. More, hey, let me be your friend. So I want to say thank you for that, Josh. I appreciate that. And um, over the uh, past couple years, obviously it's been a while, but over the past couple years, um, we've grown closer. You know, we've played games, we've had more stuff. Um, and it's been somebody that I can see and be like, okay, hey, that's, that can be my brother-in-law one day or my brother. So I just want to say thank you for that. And, you know, I wish the best for you and my sister and for Francis, um, for all you guys and for my entire family. And, uh, you know, just seeing you grow with my family and being able to do stuff. And, you know, it's just been, it's been a blessing and it's been cool. So we come to the end here. And so Josh, for the first time as a husband, would you please take a selfie with me? <laughs> <laughs> huh?